We are here to answer all of your medical questions, no matter who you are. This is Judge Judy. Hey doctors, this is Officer Bird from Judge Judy. Got a question. Uh, just before the Christmas holidays, I had my A1C taken and the number was 6.4. Had it taken right after the holidays and it was 7.1. Any explanation for the spike in my numbers? You know him from the hit show, Judge Judy, but now Officer Bird is here for a verdict of his own. Welcome to the show. Hey, Thanks for having welcome. me. How you doing? You're kind of the enforcer on that show, aren't you? Yeah. Don't tell yeah. Judy, but I turn, I turn it on just to watch you. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, and, and mom's the word. <laughs> I am really glad that you asked this question because we know the rates of diabetes out there are climbing each and every year. I'm curious, because you mentioned some of the holiday numbers. Right, right. Um, how have things been since then? Have you gotten another test of your hemoglobin A1C? Uh, I haven't had a test yet, uh, but that the fact that that test was taken during that period uh, leads me to another question that I actually have for you guys. Um, my understanding is that the A1C, okay, it's an average of three months yes. of your yeah. glucose level, but I thought I read that 50% of that reading uh, is the last month, is that? So, so let me just, for individuals who are not aware of this, clarify. Hemoglobin A1C, it does, it measures in general levels, levels of sugar in your body or in your bloodstream over the last three months. It's the sugar attached to that hemoglobin molecule on your red blood cells. Anything from 5.7 to 6.4% is considered prediabetes. You mentioned 7.1, you're reading right. after the holidays. Right. 6.5 or above puts you in the category of having diabetes. Right. The reason that three month figure is thrown out there is because that's the average lifespan of a red blood cell. God. So it is a good kind of marker over, over all of those red blood cells over that three month period. Now there can be certain circumstances. For instance, you know, if your body's been making a lot more red blood cells over the last month or so, yeah, I mean, it could sway towards the more recent month. We know eating really rich, really high sugar meals in addition to alcohol, <laughs> Officer Bird. <laughs> you remind me so much of my doctor. <laughs> we're kind of, we all come from the same mold. Hey, yeah, we're, we we're having fun with it. I, I got to tell you, the, the one thing I will say, and this is where it gets back to moderation, you should never say I'm, I'm not going to enjoy my life. But I, I would take this seriously oh, yeah. because I think sometimes it's easy to forget when you're talking about numbers what diabetes over time can do right. to your kidneys, right. to your vision, vision yeah. Yeah. To, to your heart. And I think if you use this as motivation to, so let's say next holidays roll around, maybe pull back a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Have a okay. good time, yeah. not a great right. It won't be time. so good and it won't be so much to drink. Do you, right. do you have a family history of diabetes? Or? Uh, my Aunt Helen, uh, my father's sister, uh, had both of her legs uh, uh, below the knee cut off uh, due, to, due to diabetes. And so I, I, I want to emphasize that it is important that you know your glucose level. Yes. I want to applaud yes. you for that because yeah. you can't, if you don't know, you don't know. You can't, you know and, and, so, and so many people don't know. And it's a, it's a real simple test. Uh, you know, just go and ask your doctor for it whether you think you have it or not, because it is one of those silent killers. Yes, yes. And, and what you don't know can kill you a long time. Well, I'm as anxious as you are to find out what yeah. your next hemoglobin A1C number is. I would be glad to let you guys well, yeah, know. Yeah, do, do let us know, and maybe, you know, maybe if you get those results, come back on, and I think sometimes by sharing your story, yeah. because, look, Everyone is out there just trying to do the best they can, right? right? right. We're trying to be happy and enjoy our lives, but also take into account Thank our risk healthy. factors for things like this. And I gotta tell you, a diagnosis of diabetes doesn't have to be scary. Right. Living with diabetes, not knowing that you're living with diabetes, now that's yes. scary because yes. that's when it's doing the damage. Can't thank you enough for sharing this with us. My and you can thank you. Thank you for having see me. See more of Officer Bird on Judge Judy, which is now in its 22nd Woo! season. Yeah. Pretty remarkable. And you can catch him on YouTube. I saw you singing on YouTube, by the way. Look uh -oh. him up. He's good. <laughs>
<laughs> well, well, man, you, I didn't know you. that. Maybe next thank time we'll you. do a little singing yeah. competition. But certainly, if you have a question you want answered on the show, write into the doctors, TV.com. You never know. Your question may be answered next on this show.